Tanya, you have a look of constipation on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like because I know it myself. She can't figure out yeah. who the surprise person is. And I feel like you're saying I'm, too much already, Ryan. Like you're well, giving it away. Guys, I mean, it's been in the news, all this space travel. That's right. So, Tanya, we have had Charlie Puth. We've had Haley Steinfeld. We've had your parents on. We're thinking, you know, with mm -hmm. all of there's a race to outer space. And with all of mm -hmm. the headlines, I mean, you've seen them. Who's the, who could actually take Tanya Rad into orbit? Boom. That's right. Dawned on me. That's the person. That's who's coming in right now. Bring him on. Bring him in. Bring in. Bring in the orbiteer. Okay, here we go. The orbiteer upon arrival now to celebrate your birthday. I would also say could get her onto like cloud nine. -ish. Sure. <laughs> Above the clouds. So I think her boyfriend her is here. Good morning. <laughs> Socrates making her cry and kissing her on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> She's crying. I'm crying. Oh, I'm crying right too. Why are you crying, Aww. Tanya? You just you see him every day. <laughs> the balloons were very noisy. Oh my gosh! Yeah. How are you? Can you hear us? I honestly I don't know didn't you know if he was no, gonna be on. on I'm gonna give him my headphone. Oh, that's commitment. How long have you been downstairs? <laughs> come here. Come here. Hi, Hi everybody. Wait, what am Hi. I talking? Hi. Am I allowed to call you by your real name? You can call me whatever you want. I'm going to call you Daddy. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> no, please don't call him <laughs> oh, Daddy. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> Why Daddy? Hi, That's Daddy. Weird, really <laughs> um, I'm gonna, uh, Robbie Socrates, a.k.a. Robbie, is here. To, so yes. I, was, I was saying that the one person that can send her into orbit is here, and I think she thought Richard Branson was going to come in. <laughs> I was so confused. Look Do at you that get muscle. it now? Hey, he's showing me his muscle right now, Tanya. Just seeing so that's know. a flex for you. Yeah, right. No, no, no. I'll, <laughs> I'll put those away. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we have so many questions. Uh, I guess the first is, oh. what is it like? Wait, hold on. Should I get him a chair? Sure, that'd be kind. <laughs> that'd be kind. He's gonna be okay, here for I'll days. Go, I'll get. I'll get. I'll get. No, I'll get. No, 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 they're already fighting. It's their first yeah. fight. <laughs> Tanya, why'd you cry? That was so sweet. Yeah, cause I love him, and it was just a really nice surprise. <laughs> <laughs> So this is better than Charlie Puth? <laughs> no, nobody's better than anybody. Hang on. Okay. So I guess the first question is, what is it like to date Tanya? <laughs> What's it like? It's amazing. You should she's, talk into this. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, she, you guys know she's just the most incredible person, the most thoughtful, fun, loving. We've had a great time. I mean, our relationship has been incredible. We, you know, we kind of, Met before the, pan the the lockdown. We talk into this. We met before the lockdown, <laughs> and then we immediately got locked down together. So it was like really interesting and fun. Oh, I, I, you know, you look back and you think to yourself, "Hey, if we could be locked down together and survive and come out of it better, then that's a good thing, right?" That's true. Right, wait, 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 what was it? Uh, now, Tanya, as if you're not here, just let me have some one-on-one -on -one time with my man, Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> What y'all do? How cute is he though? Look how cute he is. I yeah, see how cute that. he is. I, he's uh -huh. adorable. I would. Uh, adorable. I, I want to pinch his cheeks. <laughs> now, Robbie, where, what was your first date? Walk me through it. Uh, well, I think you guys know a little bit of the history. We met on Hinge, uh, and we quickly set up a date at it, right by her place at Black Liquor Market in Studio City, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, she, I think she. Went in thinking it was going to be kind of a quickie, say hi, have a <laughs> drink, go home, pack. And I think she was leaving for uh, New York the next day. Uh, and we ended up hanging out and talking for hours, four, I don't know, five hours. I have no idea. Kind of just had to just hit it off. And I understand this to be the case. We're celebrating Tanya's birthday right now, if you're just joining us. And Socrates, her boyfriend, is here. But I understand that you first heard her say she loves you by telling us on the air? Correct. That's got to yeah, be yeah, a yeah. bizarre uh, dynamic. The, the, whole th the, whole, the whole public thing yeah. of this is very bizarre. But yeah, definitely driving in my car and hearing that for the first time, even though I knew it. Uh, it was definitely very well. Bizarre. I get it because you would think that she would tell you first, but that's not the way it works anymore. Okay, <laughs> no. we we hear. Yeah. I know. Uh, well, that that's what, is, what can you tell? Us I don't about? think anything with Tanya. You can you never know what to expect with Tanya. So <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yes, you cannot do a five day forecast on her weather. 
Uh, so we have a big surprise celebration this weekend that you're planning? Yeah, not so much surprise, but I'm hmm. taking her on uh, an adventure, an, a weekend adventure, various Ooh. activities of which she does not know what any of them are. And uh, we'll see That's how it goes. Awesome. She's not being the best uh, participant because <laughs> she just can't deal with surprises. So she's asking I get too many it. questions. And but... plus, like, she wants to plan. Like, what does she wear? You, you've given her hints for that, at least. <laughs> that, no, yeah. I can do it. I got the what she wears. I can oh, do it. No. I can, I'm Robbie. good. I can give her good guidance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. Wait, 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 wait. What is it like? Because we've talked about this, and Tanya's the first to tell you that she doesn't close her eyes. So w when you are kissing her and her eyes are wide open, <laughs> what's that moment like? Oh, she does. She does close her eyes, but yeah, sometimes they're wide open and her <laughs> eyes are very <laughs> jarring. <laughs> um, well, this I, I can't wait to hear about the adventures oh, of we. It. Thank you for being a good sport and coming in to surprise her this morning. Of course, thank you guys for having me. It's so nice to finally meet you guys, kind of on air. I've met each of you a little bit off air, you but talk into this. oh, I met you guys a little bit <laughs> off air, but but great to meet you here. Well, we can't wait to see you in person uh, sometime soon. She's invited me to join you on a date, but she invites me five minutes before you guys are having your 545 dinner. Yeah. So next time. <laughs> Do I call you? I don't know what I'm call you from now on. I think from now moment. on we can say Robbie, wait, I, right? Can, I, can we drop You can say Robbie, but I've, yeah, definitely, I like but I have one teams. question, though. Yeah, go oh, ahead. you have a question. Where did Socrates come from? My I meat, remember it being your, I heard it being your fish guy. It's my meat guy. Yeah. My meat yeah, my meat guy. Why? He's also my fish guy. Was it uh, symbolic because Tanya had some fresh meat in her life? Is no, that do you know? Where it really honestly, came from? honestly, because we were in a <laughs> pandemic, I was trying to find delivery services for raw foods, for foods that I could prepare. And I met Socrates, who had access to great steaks and fish. And the day that I was ordering it was the day she was talking about you. And I just kind of gave. And Socrates, if you're listening, I know you heard about this. Uh, and he, he has great meat. And that's what he does. He's a, meat, he's a meat guy. He's a meat guy. It's an honor. It's an honor. Now, I just want to tell you, it doesn't get easy, all this talk on the air, okay? I mean, you know, how old are you? You don't have to say. 42. Okay, I'm 46. No, that's fine. I'm 42. Yeah, I'm 46. Uh, Tanya, say, I always told you, 40s, man, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. <laughs> that's where it's at. All right, thanks for coming on.